Hey guys, sorry, I just cut the video there. Everything's the same, but uh, we're gonna have another video here. Um, anyways, that was painful. The scores are in, final scores here. And um, yeah, it's, it's sad to see just how little changed, but it was a whole lot of fun. Anti-dramatic racing there at, at the end when it was so much build up, especially because uh, the first time we raced the finals, it was amazing and really good. Um, but uh, you'll see that in a second. Anyways, congratulations, no taking away. 222 points uh, takes the win for the title. So 94 cents in a dream. Somehow I will get a, uh, a hold of you. You'll notice... Um, Anyways, so we got to connect and get that prize to you. Uh, I'll do another follow-up video here in the next couple days when everything kind of shakes out, see what you guys are thinking. Um, 213, very high score. The Worm, 216. And Jackie Stewart with 207. Sorry, I didn't actually see what you picked, but it was on my phone, and uh, I, I kind of forgot what you sent to me today. Um... I think you had the, the yellow one, the shadow jet and the orange one, the jag and the orange. I forget, guys. Um, anyways, so we'll, we'll, we'll shift it over here to um, the standings. And as I said, it's amazing how very little it changed. So here is your regular season standings here on this side. And then, um, so that was your regular season points here. And then your, your bracket score, which I added on. So our, our overall champion, still champion, Hot Wheels Infinity with a sizzling score of 323 regular season points, 210 bracket score points, and a 533 finish for the first place. Edgar's Diecast Collection made a, well, a fairly big jump from fourth into second place with 275, 213 for 488. Super close, followed by... GNR Vintage Diecast Racing coming in third, 273 and 207 with a 480 finish. Um, fourth place here, 94 cents in a dream, making a big jump. Uh, coming almost, well, yeah, you're still a ways away, but as I said, going into the kind of the brackets, um, most of us were out as long as Hot Wheels Infinity kept on picking cars. So let's take a quick look at your, your finish. Um, I was a big, big loser. Only 102 points in that bracket. I think it was pretty much nearly the lowest score. I do believe. Yep, as I did not hit the finals. So did not get those 48 points. Leaving me in 16th place with my tail between my legs. Uh, pick up pit stop, make a little bit of a jump. 193, 207 for good for 400 points. Um, and as he said, he wanted to crack the... Wait, no. He's 12th. Jackie Stewart cracked the top 10. Anyways, guys, there it is. Ken all the way down. 18 points. He had 10 points in the regular season. And 123 for 113. And then Hot Wheels Calgary still made 20, 20th place, although he didn't have any points. Uh, Michael Duzinski, sorry you didn't finish up with the tournament, buddy, but where you left off, you were right in the thick of things. Um, what else here? Back over, no. no. Bracket scores. Bracket scores, yeah, so give you another look. Didn't bother highlighting the rest of the field, but there it is, guys. Once again, sorry about the breakup in the video here. As I just turned it on, I was like, no. But two videos. I'm sorry, guys. And there's going to be another video with the, uh, um, I guess, practice finals, if you will, that was a whole lot better. And we'll watch that together tomorrow at another date as well. But anyways, I really want to get this done because then I can clean this basement up. The other day I bought... Uh, a uh, air hockey table from Toys R Us for Ken and let's just say the wife my wife is not too pleased that it's sitting up in the, the the living room and I've got to clean up this stuff anyways guys thanks again so much for playing along with the quarter century Hot Wheels tournament this isn't the last you're gonna see us we're gonna have a little bit of a break as I said I gotta clean up and we'll do some looser videos 
where not so much scoring, not much so much so much uh, things going on with it. And then we'll get into the uh, ever popular third annual blind bag invitational, only brought to you by the toy table. So if you'd like to get into that, please lay down a comment saying put me in and pick me a car for the blind bag invitational. That's where we get really creative with different track styles, different ways to get you guys points, whether it's knocking things down, team runs, um, uh, running out of gas uh, kind of things. Anyways, once again, keep those tires pumped and racing.